Hello everybody, Steve here from Steve's Garage. Uh, as promised, I said that I would show you the first car I built, and this is the first car I built. This is a 1928 Ford Model A, which was top was chopped down uh, three inches, and uh, I made the roof and the rear trunk section all myself, which I will show you. I also put a book together and documented this whole thing. Um, this was my first car. I mean, I've always been into cars. As a kid, I had a sports satellite convertible, a Mopar, you know, Plymouth sports satellite convertible. And um, I've had a 54 Buick. Um, we've had Mustang convertible. Um, I've got the uh, 28, a 29 that I'm building right now. I've got a 52 Ford, which I'll show you. And I've got a 35 Ford uh, sedan, which we're gonna be chopping the top on that when I'm done with the build that I'm building now. So, as I've said in the past, um, I'm building this channel. I'm, I'm uh, retired and this is, um, this is my passion. This is, uh, I finally got the time to do this and uh, I do it a few hours every day. I don't do it eight hours a day. Uh, just, you know, I worked 40 years in construction and uh, need a break. So this is it. So I'm glad you're all here to join me and see uh, my journey as we open this next chapter of my life. You know, everyone says, oh, what are you doing while you're retired? Well, I'm having the best time of my life. I've already done the work. You know, and I, I don't have anything, any clients, any customers. I don't do this for a living. I don't want to do any metal work for anybody or anything. I just want to build these cars and, uh, and enjoy the hell out of it. So, um, this car first came out of a barn. A friend of mine I've known for years, uh, he said, you know, I've got this. And I said, I'm looking for a project. And he says, well... Um, you know, I've got this thing in my barn that I've had for years, a 28 Ford, and, um, you know, he says, I put a new frame on it, it was in the, he had a Speedway frame, Speedway front end, and he had a 9-inch rear end, and um, a Borg Warner 5-speed transmission. Um, we put disc brakes on the front, it has drum brakes on the back, and, um, I basically did had to redo everything on this car. Um, I will go through in detail and show you what we're doing here, but um, it was very difficult. <laughs> Being my first car, had to do a lot of research, had to watch a lot of YouTube. Um, I watched a lot of guys on TV, had to learn how to weld. Um, this car, I didn't have any of the tools I have now, so I was, you know, strapping a piece of muffler uh, with clamps to a piece of plywood and I'm bending metal on that. Um, so this is literally hand built. I also didn't know the gauge of metals that guys were using. And I'm from the school of, you know, bigger is better. So this entire car is built out of 16 gauge steel. So any of you guys who build cars typically use 18, and 20 in some spots gauge steel but this whole car is built out of 16 gauge so you understand how much I fought this thing and it was all just brute force hammers and <laughs> cutting and hammers and um, you know just hand work um, I want to show you the book I had done So this is the book that I had made from this build and it says 2019 to 2020. There it is on the trailer coming out of the guy's barn and you know a pile of parts. And then this book, let me get behind the camera. This book goes through page by page and shows you every detail of how I built this. There it was in the barn. 
that's just another vehicle I bought off of them. This is when I've got it in my shop, but I'm just kind of looking at it. And then there's the first pieces of steel I put on the on the back. And then we move forward. Uh, this is where it's coming together really well here. And that shows you, you know, how I've handmade all these things. This curve section right here was from a uh, squirrel cage out of an air purifier that went bad in my shop. This is the uh, where I made the buck for the trunk. I made a wooden buck, and then I clamped the steel to it and hand peened over all the edges here, and made the trunk. Um, this is when it's a little further together down here here uh, these are harley um rear view mirrors um, this is some of the interior shots this is a look into the trunk here this is from the forward with a little light on inside and then here some shots, there's my puppy dog. This is when I've got it pretty well together and I am have it sanded out. Um, this is the pattern and the top. I made a skull roof, literally to hide all my mistakes, but it worked out well. Um, this is the sides when I, I welded together all the spider webs. And this is when I had it in paint. I painted it all myself. Coming into primer here. And here it is in full primer. There's the top with the skull showing painted. Um, these are the, the rear fenders, which are Harley Davidson fenders. This is the frame when it was into paint. It's gasser green. That shows you the rear fenders. There's my tires. Here's the engine with paint on it. And then this is the frame outside the shop. This is when I was doing the flames. Taped off. I made a pattern on paper and I used the pattern on both sides so I've got the exact same flame. Here's uh, right versus drivers. This is when I had it in, uh, you know, finishing it up, putting all the, the pipes on it, the motor in it, the brakes in it. Here it is. Pretty much complete. This is the motor complete. And then the dash I made out of walnut in my shop because I was I'm a cabinet maker by trade, so woodworker. And then the final picture will show you. There it is in front of the shop. So This book right here is the best thing I ever did. Because when I go to shows and I show guys this car and say, I built it. And they're like, well, what do you mean you built it? Well, you can stand there and tell all these stories and they're just not gonna get exactly what you did. When I hand them this book, they stand there and people gather around and they go through page by page asking questions. And it really, this tells the story. And uh, I'm going to do the same thing with what I'm building now. I think everybody should put something together like this when they build a car custom. And it can go with the car. If I ever sell the car, it can go with it. I can also get another copy from my library. But um, what a great tool to have. So without any further ado, I'm going to show you the car. We'll do a walk around.
Got to put my glasses on because I can't see. So here we go. Here's the front end. Notice the spider webs with the V8 on it. I also have this Mac Bulldog hood ornament that I've had since the 80s. And I always look at it. I'm going to use it somewhere. So here it is. These are my screaming skulls hanging on for dear life on the front of the uh, eyebrow on the on the lights. Here's the motor. Got a chrome skull on top of the dual uh, carburetors. This is a, an alternator to look like a generator. These are uh, the water heater uh, temperatures uh, sensors, which I'll show you the interior after. This is with the, uh, the spider webs. I made all this from hand. You got to remember, everything's from scratch. And here's the hood, or the roof, I should say, with Mr. Skeleton on it. Everyone loves it, and I tell them that hides all my mistakes because I warped metal. I did a horrible job, but it, w it is what it is. Here's from the side showing the flame job, which will be better the other side. The sun's on the other side. Rear window. I've got an eyeball in there. This is the interior. I've got all Willwood brake pedals. Willwood brakes. Now I put a nice brake system in there. These are the Harley fenders I used on the back. I've got my skull exhaust tips here, screaming at you. From the rear, here's the spidey spider webs in the back. She stands well, looks great, gets tons of attention at all the car shows. Everybody loves this car. Here's from the sunny side. I've got Michelin tires on these. And again, I wanted to build, here's my overflow bottle of Jack. This is the horn here. She shines nice. She sits nice. Um, and if you notice, I kept the small tires. So I wanted to do a build that was like something they did after the war in the uh, World War II when the guys came and they started chopping these cars down. Got the nice roof shop on it. It stands well. I love the way this sits about just a few inches off the ground. And that's it, man. Here's my shop. It's a beautiful day here in Western Massachusetts. And there's the shot right there, my brothers. So, I have to show you something inside. As a mascot, because everyone kind of says this is like a the Munster's car, I put Lily Munster in there on my dashboard. You gotta love that. Now, with the inspiration for this car, when I was a kid, I built models all the time, and I had a a. Uh, a Munster mobile. It was the the um, whatever the the car they drove around. Uh, I don't know what it was called, but it was like a 20s car, you know, built into a hot rod. And that had that green and and black. And I always loved that. Even as a kid, I said, you know, the gasser green thing, uh, the, the the dark the light, the, the light green with the black really stands out. And um, this, this here, 
Uh, that's where I got the gasser green and the black combination. And these paints are from Speedway. They're just single stage urethanes. And, uh, and that's that. So, wanted to share this with you. This is one of my cars. I also have a couple others that I'll be showing as time goes on. Uh, we've got all the um, uh, car shows coming up. So I'll be showing you uh, the car shows that I go to. And uh, we'll just have a lot of fun. All right. So it's going to be a great summer. Everybody have a great weekend. Drive safe. Use your blinkers. Wear your safety belts. And be good to your friends and your family. Have a great day, everyone.